We're back here in the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher, and coach will rejoin us here in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at what's going on this weekend. I hope that you Racer fans are able to make the trip to Papa John's Cardinal Stadium in Louisville this weekend. It's a 6 p.m. Central Time tip, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, as the Racers take on the Louisville Cardinals for the first time since 2011, as uh, Chris Hatcher will be facing them for the second time. That game Saturday is on ESPN3. And let's go back into uh, Saturday, or last Thursday, rather, as the Racers opened the season with a big victory, 73-26 over the Union College Bulldogs. Uh, man, we had a lot of big plays. There was two big punt returns in the first half as the Racers rolled up over 50 points at the half. Uh, Jonathan Jackson had that rare two-point play when he scooped up the blocked point after and returned it 98 yards. I don't know if I've ever seen that. And, of course, C.J. Bennett was great in his quarterback debut. He threw five touchdown passes, three of those going to Janowski Davis. All in all, it was a big victory for the racers. And afterwards, Bennett, Davis, and Jackson spoke to the media. Uh, it, was a good, it was a good team win. And, uh, like you said, uh, it's a good way to get off to a good start. And uh, we're ready for next week, ready to get back to work tomorrow. C.J.'s uh, five touchdown passes today. That's a successful start in your career right there. Uh, yeah, it's always good to get the ball in the end zone. Uh, you know, offensive line protected real well today. We had a lot of run lanes. Uh, you know, offense looked sharp, but we, we made a lot of mistakes too, and we left a lot of plays on that field. Uh, it's always good to get that W, but like Jonathan said, there's room for improvement, and it's always good to get, you know, those mistakes out of the first game. So, you know, you get them out now, and we're, we'll improve next week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pretty, pretty exciting day for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, yes, it is. Just talk about that. Uh, yeah, uh, we can uh, – we all came out of great intensity tonight. Everybody was hungry and ready to play. It was a long, a long preparation for this summer, and we was all ready. So we came out tonight and we just made plays, and everybody did a good job. But like they say, it's room for improvement. I always enjoy getting our student athletes in front of the camera there, and you got a good chance to see uh, those guys without their helmets on. C.J. Bennett, Janowski Davis, and Jonathan Jackson. Uh, representing Murray State very, very well in front of the media afterwards. But uh, the one uh, reoccurring thing with those three young men was uh, they all recognized it was, it was a good game against an opponent that you're supposed to handle, but there's things that you can improve on going ahead into Louisville this week. Well, sure, and, and we take nothing um, uh, away from the game that please don't think we're not excited about it. Exactly. I mean, we're always excited about a great win. Um, however, you know, they, they know. I mean, there's things that we have to get better to beat teams of our level, um, to, to compete against the Louisville's and Western Michigan's. Um, so it was a really good game. I mean, it, you couldn't have asked for more. I mean, we were put in a lot of game situations um, that are hard to simulate at practice. I mentioned that early. Um, you know, you never go in there and practice getting a kick blocked and make them sprint 100 yards for a touchdown. So <laughs> yeah. they got to see those things in real time. Um, we took a lot away from it. Everything that we did poorly is correctable. Um, but more important, we came out fired up. Um, we beat a team that we should beat, and we beat them handily. And to me, I like to knock teams out early. We put a big number up early, and, um, and then we just kind of cruise to victory. Okay, well, let's take a look at our players of the game. We're starting this this year, and it'll give us a chance for you to uh, see a couple of the racers, uh, uh, like I said, without their helmet on. You'll know what they look like. And our offensive player this week is Janowski Davis, a senior from 8 Mile, Alabama, led the way with three touchdowns receiving, also added a punt return for a touchdown and he led Murray State with 135 all-purpose yards in the game. And on defense, it's Jonathan Jackson, a sophomore linebacker from Mayfield, Kentucky. A lot of folks in these parts remember uh, Jonathan's great career at Mayfield High School and what a, what a uh, experience he had there. A 98-yard, two-point run back off of a blocked extra point. He also added seven uh, tackles, a sack, and a fumble recovery. So just a couple of the guys who played great. We had a bunch of guys play great. Uh, but now, Coach, we go into... Uh, the Louisville game, and you guys will be underdogs going up there. But you know what? This week you're gonna you're gonna prepare like you always do and go up there and give it your best shot and, and see what happens. Well, the schedule is kind of a difference. You know, we play Union, lower level team. Then we play Louisville. We take a week off and play Western Michigan, right. two FBS opponents. Um, you you kind of find out in the first three weeks of the season what you're made of, what you do well, um, what you need to improve on. I thought our guys had the big eyes, a lot of the young guys early on, um, and, and played very tentative. Hopefully they got that out of them. Um, they're not freshmen anymore, Dave. They got to step up for us to have a good season. Um, so that was good to see. This week, um, we got to make the corrections. We got to put a good, concise game plan together. 
Um, and more important than anything, we need to go up and do what we do well and improve in that area and then let the chips fall where they may. You know, we got a very difficult opponent, ACC opponent. Mm -hmm. um, but again, um, we played them well there the last time we played. Hopefully we can do the same thing. Um, but I'm worried about us being better this week than we were versus Union. No matter what the score is, right. I'm worried about us improving in all the little areas um, that we must get better at in order to make a run for an OVC title. Okay, and then before we leave, let's just take a look at the schedule ahead. Coach mentioned uh, the, the game at Western Michigan. Uh, that'll be streamed in some fashion, which we'll tell you about that later. And then the next time you get to see the racers at home is September 27th against Jacksonville State. That'll be the OVC opener, and we'll look forward to that. And we'll look forward to uh, dry conditions so that Racer 1 can run. Uh, he wasn't able to run on Thursday night, so we'll look forward to that. And, Coach, just uh, before we leave, uh, a little video from the Gold Rush. Uh, I don't know how many hundreds of freshmen, uh, fre freshmen, uh, freshmen uh, with Dr. Davies, our new Murray State president, made the, the dash across the field. I thought that was an amazing thing, and I hope it continues. But I noticed you came over and uh, enjoyed it too. Yeah, I did. Um, I was very appreciative of um, all the hard work that went into organizing that. You know, I've 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 been an advocate since I've been here. It'd be nice just to be able to get people closer to the action. Uh -huh. You know, we have a fine stadium, but sometimes they, they just seem like they're so far away from the action. So we were able to move those guys down. I don't think anybody got in trouble down uh, there. So it, went right. I think um, it, went it was great. kind of a trial run. Uh -huh. So maybe we can continue to incorporate things like that in our game day atmosphere. You know, when you play at the FCS level, um, the game needs to be a happening within the game itself. So um, we got a fine marketing team that's doing a great job working on those things. Um, but it was, it was good to see Dr. Davey um, lead the team out. He was running fast. I don't know that we'll be um, asking to be a running back anytime <laughs> soon, but um, he's bought in, the freshmen have bought in. Um, now our goal is to get the rest of the student body to buy in. And, boy, if we can ever do that, um, we'll have something special on Saturday afternoons or Saturday evenings in the fall. And then uh, the first game of the season was also senior day, and all the parents of all of our seniors had a chance to, to be recognized as well. So we really uh, hope that they have a great season too. So that is the end of our first week of the race report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach, good luck at Louisville. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate and it. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next time of the race report. And as we leave you today, as always, the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley, with the best calls of the week. Back to C.J. Bennett. Bennett looks across the middle, throws, and has his man into the end zone for a touchdown. Janowski Davis finds pay dirt at 6 0 racers. I can't imagine. Hey, this is a good high punt, good hang time, and taken at about the 33 yard line out across the 40, 45, 50, 40, 35, 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and a touchdown. Oh. Neil's going to bring up a third down, I think, on the three. Like you said, if they get to the first or the one yard line, they can't pick up a first down. Third and about two. Bennett wants to throw. He fires, and it is into the end zone for the touchdown. DJ Bennett takes the handoff, play action, throws right side, and it is perfect in stride to harness for the touchdown. And once again, here's the punt. Just good hang time. It's a bit shorter. Donnell's going to step up there and catch it. He's across the 40, 45, 50, 40, 35, 30. Breaks to the outside. One man to beat. 20, 15, 10, 5. He's gone for the score. Another punt return for the touchdown for Sean Samuels. Donnell. So they'll plan it again at the 31-yard line. It'll be a 41-yard attempt for Greifenkamp. He's been true on every point after attempt. The holder's ready. Here's the kick. This one has the distance, and it's good. A four nice run again right up the middle. Good job by the racer offensive line getting him the free. Will Reynolds gave that final bump that brought him down. One back set this time. Snap back to Bennett. Timing pattern to the left side. It is caught at the seven, and a dive into the end zone for the touchdown. Janowski Davis, his second grab of the night for the score. One back set. Bulky Harris up the middle, has some room across the five and into the end zone for the touchdown. Bulky Harris, a 21-yard touchdown run. You gotta appreciate that, Neil. Goes to hold. Here's the snap. It's good. The kick is on the way and it was blocked. Racers can kick it up and run with it. Out across the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This is Jonathan Jackson. Has some room. 50. 
40, 30. He's going to go. He's going to take it to the house for a two-point score, and it's 54-19. to 19. Jackson knew what to do with it. Now you think Coach Asher explained that after the last one? Ja Jackson had no doubt. To the left side. He'll set up in the slot. Snap back. He'll look back left side. It is caught at the 15. That is down to the 5. Davis breaks free and into the end zone for the touchdown. Janowski Davis with another score. And it's six. For the racers, let's see how KD can run this offense. Humphreys with a one back set. Throws left side. It's caught. 25, 20, 15, 10. Rice served in the end zone. Paul Rice with the score. And it's 66 to 19. Right side five into the end zone for the touchdown. When it's over, the teams head from the sidelines, and uh, this one goes into the win column for the racers. Racer football. Today's racer report is being brought to you by Campus Evolution Villages. Call 270 767 1818 to plan your visit today. And by Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. The race report is brought to you by Ruth Brothers Wine and Spirits, serving you for 50 years in Paducah with two locations. And by Pepsi Mid America. Share your summer picks on Twitter with hashtag RealBigSummer.